Alright then guys, just a little update on uh, some of the little mods that I've done to Eleanor. Uh, I managed to get a, a touring seat from Hitchcock's uh, with the cowl, but the cowl all comes black. Now, obviously with the bike being chrome, I wanted to be matching, didn't I? So, I managed to find a company uh, in Barnsley. Uh, Graphic Inf Innovations Group, based in Grimethorpe, Barnsley, who would actually do vinyl wrap. Now, they weren't interested to start with because they didn't know how the chrome would have been a thicker and uh, it's a lot harder to actually heat up and manipulate. Uh, they didn't, they weren't really bothered about doing it to start with, but... Uh, I gave them a little bit of encouragement and I said that I was willing to let them have a try and uh, they've managed to do it. They've done a cracking job. As you can see. Now what they had to do with the chrome, obviously with it being a lot thicker, and to get it round the edges of the corners, I don't know whether you can just see, but on the very edge, on the lip, they've had to back it off with black just to secure it and all the way around the bottom edge which you can't see it's it's invisible unless you actually stare directly at it uh, but I think they've done a lovely job there very pleased with it so that's one of my mods what I've actually done just something next nice something nice and simple I know you can get them from uh, tech parts which specialise basically in triumph Bits and bobs, you'll, everybody will, you'll all know about them. Uh, I know you can get them from tech parts, but I managed to get these just off eBay. They're just 8mm rod connectors, which I think it just tidies it up a little bit and it, it protects threads at the end of the day. Uh, something else that I'm wanting to do is do a slight modification on the rear indicators. I'm not bothered about the indicators. People moan about them being plastic and stuff like that, but it, they don't bother me. All the thing I wanted to do, I've seen some other people where they've actually modified it and shortened them down. Uh, obviously, so it brings the indicator a lot closer to the real lamp unit. So that's something that I'm intending to do. Whether I get round to do it, I don't know. I think many times I'm just happy, happy riding her. So, there you go, guys. That's... One of the first mods I've got to do. I've still got a garage load of stuff. So as they come, I shall keep posting. See you later.